Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we have a system of equations with constant a that we don't know yet. We're saying that given that there are infinitely many solutions, what would a be? Well, the first thing we can do here is let's get it in the same form, right? So we have 5y is equal to 3 minus ax. We can keep that the same. And then we want to get this equation down here in the same order. You'll see why in a second. We're going to want y on one side and then the constant plus x. Okay, so we have negative x plus 6 is equal to 10y plus 5x. So we're adding x to both sides, subtracting 6 from both sides. Over here, we're just going to have 0 for now. Here we have 10y. And then we want to get it in this order, so let's put the negative 6 first. Um, again, it doesn't really matter which one we do first, because 2 plus 4, 4 plus 2, they're both equal to 6. The order doesn't matter, so we're just going to scooch the negative 6 over so it looks a little bit more similar. And then we have 5x plus x is plus 6x. Now this is looking a little bit more similar, but we still have to get the y on the other side. So negative 10y minus 10y. These are canceling out. We have 0 minus 10y is negative 10y is equal to negative 6 plus 6x. All right, so now we have negative 10y is equal to negative 6 plus 6x. We actually look here to keep that a in there. Can't forget that. And if these have infinitely many solutions, they're going to be the same exact equation. You'll notice they're actually really close. So if we look at this, we can look at 5 and negative 10, 3 and negative 6. What do these both have in common? Well, if we multiply this equation by negative 2 and bring it down here, we have negative 10y is equal to negative 6 minus negative 2ax. So think of that as plus 2ax. So these have infinitely many solutions then these are the same equations. And now you can see why we got them in the same order, because everything lines up. Negative 10y is negative 10y. Equal signs are together, and then negative 6 is equal to negative 6. And since these are the same equation, 6x has to equal 2ax. For any x, this has to be true. So dividing both sides by x, left with 6 is equal to 2a, how do we file for a? Divide both sides by 2. So a is equal to 3. So now, just looking back, what does this mean? If we plug in a 3 for a there, these two equations in their system are going to have infinitely many solutions. So if a is a constant, what is the value of a? We just found it. a is equal to 3. going to be our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.